Hey guys, this is Elise. I'm a therapist and wellness coach, and my business, Counseling Care Circle, operates the private self-care group, Coronavirus Self-Care Mental Health, on Facebook. Since starting the group one month ago, we have grown to a little over 300 members. We have healthcare workers and non-healthcare workers alike. It is an open space for all. To keep the safe tenor of that space, I want to encourage you to engage in a way that maximizes the benefits of the space. I'll give you a little orientation in this video on how to navigate the space from a computer. It could look a bit different on mobile devices than what I'll be describing. Okay, so let's get started. First, when you first join the group, please share your first post to introduce yourself. We would like to warmly welcome you and help orient you to this space. You can also share your location and your job in the admin created strand for introductions under the announcements tab. Second, if you look at the top right corner, you'll see posts organized by topic. The topics we have include forum and sharing, mental health toolbox, logistics of the group, laughter therapy, volunteer as a professional helper, connect with a chaplain, directory of therapists, join the prayer team, and prayer requests. Third, if you look at the left column of navigation bars, there is a section called About. This section tells you per the purpose of the group as well as the ground rules that we operate under. This group is tightly administrated, so please engage respectfully and courteously. Self-promotion, spamming, political conversation, and hostility are not allowed. Fourth, if you look at the units section on the left-hand column, you'll find education units. These are videos that I made to give you practical, easy self-care tips for your mental and emotional wellness in these times. I currently have four units with items in them. The units include information on topics such as practical self-care tips that you can do without the aid of a professional therapist in real time, what to do if you struggle with sleeping because of COVID, balancing home life with work or school life during quarantining, 11 types of grief and the tasks for loss, how to help your child communicate their needs and feelings during these times, self-quarantining as an opportunity for self-discovery if you're single, three steps to feel closer while physically distancing with your loved ones, making sense of confusing and seeming what feels very chaotic COVID-19 media, an overview of self-care through expressive arts, practical information about Enneagram type two personalities, which is the most common type of personality amongst healthcare workers and the helping professions, how to help someone get help, and a physician's personal disclosure and testimony of her experience through treating COVID-19 and how she refound her internal sense of peace in the midst of all the chaos and uncertainty. There are more topics I will cover with practical steps, easy skills you can practice, and internal resources that you can develop to bolster your personal resiliency through this season. Some topics I cover myself and others I collaborate with other experts through the form of interviews so that you can hear others' voices and also gain from their experience and expertise. Fifth, in the discussion unit, also on the left-hand column, I'll be posting a daily check-in question for forum discussion. From what I've seen so far, we have a really great group and everyone in this group are wonderful people. Please feel welcome to offer each other support and positivity in this space. Lastly, from time to time, I will be hosting events to help our group self-care. You can check the events tab also on the left-hand column to see what are upcoming events and then RSVP yes if you are able to join. Again, welcome to this private self-care group. I hope you give more than you receive in this space and that you gain lots and lots from being here. This space was made for folks like you and with you in mind.